What's up? I didn't see you there. Dawson from Sleep Talking. I hope you're all doing well. Ignore the dogs in the background. I'm currently in Dallas, Texas. Actually, I'm in Aubrey, Texas, right outside of Dallas at my sister's house. Y'all already know what time it is. We're going to see the boys. Super monumentous moment. Didn't think that we was going to get to make this happen, but we are doing it. So a little backstory. So y'all know that we had originally, we're going to be going to New York. Uh, we was going to be doing the sleep talking meetup. <clears throat> Unfortunately, things didn't work out. Justin left the podcast. So that got canceled. I didn't think I was going to get to see the boys this year. Tickets were sold out. They all sold out. Um, you know, there's just like this whole thing of like, don't buy from anybody but Ticketmaster because you may not get in, which seems like some people are still getting in with StubHub and other things. I don't know. I don't trust it. I wasn't going to risk it. So yesterday, I was at work. Yesterday was Wednesday, by the way. I was at work. I was on break. I was like, you know what? One last time, I'm going to check Dallas, Texas, St. Louis, Missouri, and Cedar Park, Texas. See if there's any shows or any tickets that have come available for these shows. And... Um, Looked at Dallas first, because that's like the closest, nothing. Looked at St. Louis, nothing. Looked at Cedar Point, there were tickets, like what the crap. So I immediately flip out and I'm like, I gotta grab them. So I grabbed two tickets, um, super fast, snatched them up, paid for parking, all that jazz. I was like, hell yes. Didn't even look at what day this was on. Uh, this is this coming Friday, tomorrow, today's Thursday. So I'm like, all right, I gotta take off work. So I took vacation today and tomorrow. Uh, so four day weekend, basically. Now I thought this was in Cedar Point, Texas, which is only five and a half hours from me. So I was like, not too bad. Turns out Cedar Park, they're different, okay? I screwed up. So it's like an eight and a half hour drive. Um, so I called my sister, I was like, hey, this is, I know this is last minute, but can I come stay with you Thursday. I'm going to drive down in the morning, stay with you Thursday. I'm going to get up Friday. I'm going to drive the other three hours down to uh, Cedar Park and go see the boys. She was like, yeah, come on. So um, that's the plan. I am currently at my sister's house, like I said, in Aubrey, Texas. Uh, I brought my young worshiper, my daughter with me, huge sleep token fan. She saw them in Little Rock, Arkansas with me way before they blew up. There was like five people in the room that knew who Sleep Token was, us being one of them. And uh, it was a super intimate, awesome show. Um, I seen them again last year on the podcast with Justin uh, and my wife and uh, our friends, Jesse and Jerrica. If you haven't seen that video, you can go check it out. But we saw them in Oklahoma. My daughter didn't go to get, get to go to that one. She was really heartbroken. And so since I was coming to this one and I was coming alone um, because of the new co-host that I may or may not have announced yet by the time this video comes up, I don't know, um, was going to come, but unfortunately could not get a babysitter for their children. And so it didn't work out. So I was coming alone. So I was like, you know what? I gotta take my daughter with me. She's gonna come with me. So Sleep Talking is uh, in Texas right now. We're gonna go see the boys tomorrow at Cedar Park. And uh, yeah, this is the vlog of this trip. Uh, I was gonna start it prior to getting to my sister's house. I was gonna vlog kind of the road trip to here. Um, but I ran out of uh, storage on my phone, so I had to update that. And uh, I didn't bring my nice cameras because they won't allow you to bring in professional cameras into the venue anyways. So this whole thing is gonna be done on my phone. So the audio is not gonna be as great as it normally is and the video is not gonna be as great as it normally is. But hopefully it's good enough for a vlog. Um, yeah. So hopefully I'm gonna to get to uh, meet up with a bunch of you at the show, get to talk to you, maybe interview you for the podcast, um, and just have a good time and see the boys. Uh, we got general admission tickets, so it's on the floor. I'm gonna try my best to get as close to the front as possible since I have a little one with me, not only for safety reasons, but just so she can actually see something. Um, so anyways, uh, what else? Oh, I did call the venue, found out that you can wear masks. You have to take them off in security. Um, once you get through security, you can put masks back on. So the sleep talking mask is coming with me. I'll be decked out in sleep talking gear. Um, it's gonna be the first time I've ever wore the sleep talking mask out in public. So it's gonna be interesting. We'll see how it goes. Um, yeah, I think that's it. I literally just got here. 
We went to go eat at Torchy's Tacos. There's a lot of drama right now. My mom, she's cuckoo, I don't know. She thinks that Sleep Token is like, I guess the devil worshiping band of the century. Not entirely sure, we don't speak, but she like threw this whole fit and was like, I don't know, causing a lot of drama with my family about why are you gonna be with a devil worshiper who's going to worship the devil and all that stuff and I don't know, um, pretty dumb. So, anywho, so we're gonna go uh, see the boys and uh, we're gonna worship, I guess the devil um, or something. And uh, <laughs> I'm bringing you along for the ride. So I hope you enjoyed this little vlog of the trip. And I am super jazzed if you cannot tell because I did not think I was gonna get to go to this and now I'm getting to go. So I am pumped super duper over the moon. So let's freaking get it. Good morning, everybody. Dawson here with Sleep Talking. It's the next day. Spent the night at my sister's house and now we are on our way to Austin, Texas. Um, we are about an hour and 40 minutes out. We ran into some storms, right, Scott? It was, it was raining in Fort Worth, coming down pretty hard. Uh, driving through Fort Worth, Texas in the rain on the tollway. It's not fun. 10 out of 10, don't recommend it. But, you know, sacrifices must be made, right, Skyline? In order to see the boys. We had to do what we had to do, right? Yeah. So, anyways. Uh, supposedly there's a Bucky's up here somewhere. So, we may stop in at Bucky's or something. I don't know. But, uh, we're, we're pumped. Today's the day. We're going to the ritual. We're going to get to see the boys play an hour and a half. Some beautiful songs. I heard... I heard that we're in for a treat because I've stayed away from all spoilers, so I don't know really what all's going on. I know like the set list per se, and um, I know that there's some like interludes and stuff, but I don't know what what happens during those or anything like that. So I'm keeping all that a secret. I want it all to be a big surprise. So, but I'm super excited. We're getting very close. Uh, just an hour and a half out. Like I said, we're gonna try to hit up a Bucky's maybe, and then we're gonna get some lunch and then check in our hotel and then uh, get ready, and then head to the venue. So, let's do it. Outside of the ATB Center here in Austin, Texas, asking fans some questions. So, first off, how did you get into Sleep Token? Can we start with you? So, I found Sleep Token through uh, my best friends over here that actually came to the concert with me. Um, heard a couple of songs at first and then delved into all the albums and got like super into them. Yeah. Super excited to be here today. It's my first time seeing them live. Awesome, dude. You're in for a treat. Very, very excited about it. Do you have a favorite album or song? Oh, that's tough, man. But I'm going to have to say this place will be kind of Favorite album. Okay, so I noticed y'all are pretty close to the front. So I got to ask, how long have y'all been in line? I got here at 6.15 this morning. Holy yeah, shit! Yeah, 6.15. Are you day. serious? <laughs> yeah. Man, y'all are troopers for sure. Absolutely. So, what about you? How'd you get to um, Sleep Token? I found Sleep Token on a book talk edit about a year ago. Okay. Yeah, and then I dove right into the lore, all the songs, and then I found you guys on the internet. Favorite album, probably Sundowning. Sundowning, that, that one's, yeah. uh, I mean, that's where it started. It's a banger, yeah, for sure. Uh, what about songs? Do you have a favorite song? Jaws. Jaws is really Nazareth, nice. Yeah, okay. Okay, okay. So you like some of the old school stuff. Yeah. That's cool. Um, is this your first show? Yeah. Have either of you seen tonight's set list? Yes. So you have seen it. Okay. I was going to ask if you had like a song that you were hoping they had played, but you didn't see it yet. Because I know there's some fans out there that are like avoiding anything and everything. Have y'all watched any footage of the show yet? Oh, dude, I've watched the last two shows. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, cool. Well. I've seen a couple of clips. Awesome. Well, I appreciate y'all taking the time to talk to me, and uh, I hope y'all have an amazing concert. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. What's going on, guys? I'm here with Caleb, right? What's 
So just met Caleb. He actually has some tickets that he's going to be uh, giving to some people. So hopefully he can get those given away. But I'm going through asking people, you know, a couple questions about Sleep Token. So Caleb, um, when did you find Sleep Token? Man, it was probably last summer. A buddy of mine introduced me to him. We were hanging out at his house. And ever since, uh, you know, I've been obsessed, man, just all the time. I listen to, you know, every album. Mm -hmm. just start from sundowning, and I go to the and even, I do it over and over again. So what, what do you think makes Sleep Token, like, stand out? What makes them different than, like, all the other bands right now? Man, I, I don't really honestly know how to answer that question. Uh, it probably has a lot to do with the whole anonymous thing. Uh -huh. You know, uh, how they just let the music speak for themselves instead of, you know, trying to be famous or putting their name out there or whatever. They're just really let, letting the music out there first. Cool, cool. Do you have a favorite song or a favorite album? I mean, if I had to go with favorite album, probably Sundowning. Yeah. Favorite yeah. song all together, Tell Me. Okay, that's a good one, man. That's a good one. Caleb, it was nice to meet you, brother. I appreciate it. Thanks, man. I'm with Aruna from Project Atlantic. She's out here. I'm going to give her a chance to talk about what she's doing real fast, but I got a couple questions. So basically, as Project Atlantic, it's a place where we can uh, create content for people to make it like a sea of different colors for different songs. So for this concert, it's going to be the same one. It's really fun. It's gonna help to get everybody kind of involved in a ritual. So for me, it's my first ritual, so I wanted to be extra involved. And I think that joining and volunteering this is gonna be a lot of fun. Okay, so this is your first ritual. Yes. Oh, that's awesome. Mm -hmm. So this is my third. So like you're in for a treat. Okay. And so like, and they've grown so much since even the last time I've seen them. Like just like their stage presence. So it's gonna be awesome. So how did you get into Sleep Token? Uh, Discover Weekly. Discover Weekly. On Spotify. Yeah. On Spotify. Cool, cool, cool. And. Do you have a favorite track or album? It's too hard. Too hard. <laughs> too hard. I have so many. I can go on forever. Okay, I gotta ask this one too. Do you have a favorite member? Favorite member? No, it's, can't that's, too, it's like that's too hard to do, right? Yeah, yeah, you can't do that. Yeah, no, I feel that. Okay, well, I appreciate it so much. Thank you so much. Guys, I'm with Sarah and Jacob out here in, uh, it's Austin, Texas, basically, right? I know, like, so <laughs> we're at tonight's ritual. Um, so, showed me the summoning which I fell in love with and then discovered granted and then from there I was just tumbling down the rabbit hole. So y'all are fairly new fans from like the first, from the new album, right? Yeah. Cool, cool, cool. Have y'all went back and like listened to like the catalog and so oh, okay. Tomb is my favorite album. Okay, that was my next question is do yeah, you have a favorite album? Very yeah. Much, yeah. Very much. Cool. What's uh what's your favorite song on the newest album? Uh, I mean my favorite song overall is great. Granite, it's a good so, one. Yeah. Euclid. Euclid? Yeah, that one. If you know if, if you know the story, like, that one's just absolutely beautiful. So, no, I, I agree. Those are some good ones. Um, why do you all think that Sleep Token is kind of, like, blown up so much? Like, what sets them apart from all the other bands that are up and coming right now? I'd have to say it's the fact that they actually have emotion in their music. It's, it's, you can feel what they're going through whenever they sing and what they're singing about. And they're not constrained to just one genre. They're able to expand over multiple genres at yeah. once. And that can relate to anyone anywhere. Yeah, yeah. The genre being is just amazing. No, I 100% I, I agree. Well, it was nice meeting y'all. I appreciate it very much. I'm here with Chase and Aaron at the Austin Ritual. Um, how you guys doing? Good, great. We're awesome. excited. Uh, so this is super cool. I, I'm glad that I was able to make it out. I did this last minute, actually. Like two days ago, I got tickets. So I drove nine hours here. Um, but anyways, um, basically I wanted to ask y'all, like, how did you get My best friend, him and I, we would go on these, like, super long night drives, and then one night he turned on the summoning, and I was like, hold up, what is this? Yeah. And then from there, I just, like, became an obsessive little fan girl. That's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. How about you, um, it was actually during, uh, during like the height of COVID or just before that. Mm -hmm. um, I had an obsession with music for a long time and I was just looking for something new and I stumbled upon Jericho and it just it took me to a different place. Oh, so, so you found one of the OGs. I've, I've never been the same since. Cool, cool. Do y'all have a favorite album or song? Um, I have a favorite song, Rain, and then Fall. I mean, Rain's like my favorite off the album. It's so, so good. I, I think I've done it for the next year. What about you? Definitely Nazareth. Nazareth speaks to me a lot. And then Jericho, the last I mean, it's, it's where I started. I think it's my roots. Oh, man. 
Do, have y'all seen Tonight's Sevens at all? Or are y'all keeping it live? I don't know anything about the Sevens. I don't know anything. I don't know the Sevens. 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 I don't know well, I think everyone's in for a treat, so um, I hope. Is this y'all's first ritual? No, yeah, Dallas, Dallas, Dallas was ritual last year. Okay, so you went last year. This is your first? Yeah. Okay, awesome. I flew all the way from Idaho. Idaho, awesome, cool. Yeah, I drove nine hours to Arkansas, so. That's, that's, hey, that's awesome. Um, I appreciate y'all speaking with us. Of course. And, uh, I hope y'all have that. I'm with Jordan, and uh, we're about to see Sleep Token tonight here in Austin, Texas. So, Jordan, how'd you get in Sleep Token, man? Uh, some friends uh, showed us uh, one night, we were just going through and watching YouTube videos late at night at like 1 a.m. And uh, yeah, we just did the summoning, and I've never heard anything like this. It's their daughter, but it's just something else. Cool, cool. Is this your first ritual? This is my first ritual. Very nice. Um, have you went back and listened to like the whole catalog? Of, oh, absolutely. Yeah. Do you have a now that you've listened to everything? Do you have a favorite album or song? Well, see, here's the thing: it's every song I listen to is my favorite <laughs> song in the moment. But yeah, no, I feel you do. <laughs> um, let's see. I would say uh, Ascensionism is up there in my top three. Bloodsport, uh, the live performance is definitely up there, and uh, the offering. The offering. Cool. And so what do you think sets Sleep Token apart from other up-and-coming bands? Do you think it's the genre bending or...? I think it's partially the genre bending, it's partially the lyricism, um, how deep and how um, masterful uh, Vessel is with the lyrics. Yeah. The intricacy of Two's drum parts are it's just crazy. Um, and yeah, it's just there's just so much musicality to the band um, that I don't think you get in a lot of these bands. Very cool, man. Well, I'm glad that you're here tonight and you're getting to experience it because it's definitely a treat. And uh, I appreciate you talking to us on the podcast. Man. Absolutely. Thank you, brother. So I'm here with Bronca and Brady at the Austin Ritual. How did y'all get into Sleep Token? Uh, originally, I first started getting Sleep Token, unfortunately, through TikTok with so many. Okay, and then okay. My friends uh, they, at the time was like, you gotta listen to them. I was like, okay, I'll get a try. I started listening more and more. It's like I'm already hooked. I need, I need to start listening to more songs. Yeah. Cool. So, what do y'all think that uh, Sleep Token? What sets them apart from like other up and coming bands? Why have they blown up so much? You think? I don't Y'all have a favorite song? Ooh. That's hard. That's um, very hard. I would say it's a tie between Take Me Back to Eden and God. Just yeah. because Take Me Back to Eden, it starts off nice and slow and it gets really it heavy in the middle. Yeah, yeah. And then like at the end it's like oh, it just closes off. God is just straight up heavy, 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 yeah. slow and steady, and then like back at it. Absolutely. What about you? For me it's between four and sugar. Boring and sugar. Okay, so y'all like the heavy stuff. Okay, yeah. Boring Gods, those are heavy songs. Gods also are there. Yeah, cool. Well, um, is this y'all's first ritual or have y'all been to a show before? First, first. Awesome. first. first. Yeah. awesome, we all get for a treat. And it was nice speaking to y'all. Thank y'all so much. Thank I appreciate you. it. I'm with Alex from Project Atlantic. He is the manager for this event for Project Atlantic. Uh, they're out here giving out a bunch of uh, stickers and QR codes. I'm going to let him talk about Project Atlantic for a second and then I got a few questions for you. Absolutely, yeah. So Project Atlantic was developed in 2023 at the Wembley Show. Uh, originally just meant to light up the, the audience for the boys, uh, let them know that their music and their presence is enough and that's all yeah. that we care for. Uh, tonight we are Project Missing Limbs. So during Missing Limbs, the entire sea of the audience is going to turn pink and purple. Uh, this is actually dedicated to a worshiper that passed away last night. So this is for Nikki. We know that she's worshiping up there with us tonight. That's that's super special, man. And when I seen that, that I, I felt was heartbroken, but I was also like had this uplifting feeling because like I seen what y'all were doing with like dedicating it to her, and I think that that's absolutely awesome. I think that the Sleep Token community in a whole is just such a loving, uplifting community, right. and everyone is there for each other. And this just kind of goes to show that. Absolutely. So it's really awesome. We stand for what the boys stand for. Yeah, absolutely. And that's that's so cool, man. So I got to ask you, how'd you get into Sleep Token? Oh, man, I started listening since 2019 as they released their EPs. 
Hawks, they're a completely different vibe. I would tell my family, they're like the new tool. Except yeah. if they were, yeah, except, except better. Um, yeah, except better. <laughs> and when they came out with Chokehold, I kind of lost my mind. Because mm -hmm. um, I was in college and I said, there's, there's no way they're coming out with new music. And yeah. I'm glad I was wrong. That's I'm awesome. really glad I was wrong. Do you have a favorite album or song? Oh man. I know um, this is a tough question. This is a tough question. Um, my favorite album is going to end up being uh, Take Me Back to Eden. I think it it's covers awesome. all the bases. Yeah. The end, the cap of a beautiful trilogy uh, from beginning to end. But that being said, I think my favorite song actually is going to be The Love You Want. I think that for Vessel, and, and this is purely speculation, right? But I think it encompasses how much love that he has for somebody that he knows doesn't love him back. Yeah, no, and, absolutely. And I think that we've all felt that. And he's creating music that allows us to interpret interpret it the way we want to interpret it. Yeah, no. And, it's, and I think that's just so perfect. I feel that, man. I feel that. Are you, is there a song that you're looking forward to the most tonight? I think I think the entire uh, community is looking for Euclid. You, uh, uh, yeah. I think Euclid is, you know, as as the uh, show comes to a close, what we want is just that culminating event, that that cascade of what it means <laughs> to be a fan. Yeah. Since the beginning. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Awesome. Well, man, it was a pleasure speaking to you, and I hope you have an amazing time tonight, Thanks, as I'm awesome. sure everyone here is going to. Absolutely. It I appreciate it. Thanks brother. so much. Yeah, yeah. I'm here with Sal and Tana. You might recognize these jackets from Vessel Posting. If y'all give us a spin, he made these, and they are absolutely sick. Those are so rad. So I guess we met at the last show that we went to in Oklahoma, um, and he just brought that up because there was this drunk girl that was like yelling and screaming and stuff. She didn't even make it to the Sleep Token set. No, she was gone she before was gone Sleep on. Token ever yeah, even came out. Chill. No, it was awesome. But um, anyways, so how did y'all get into Sleep Token? Uh, me. Uh, what, two years ago, three years ago? Uh, the Love You Want, I saw that video on YouTube. Okay. My wife got home from work. Saw them, we're like, man, this really is it was interesting. Watched it over and over and over again. Fell in love with it. Saw they were touring within this moment. We yeah. went to love it. Popped in the opening set there. Yeah. And I was really drunk and I told her, I go, these guys are busting. Yeah. And that's been it. We've seen them every year since. Awesome. What do you think sets them apart from other up and coming bands? Why have they exploded so fast? I think they're able to merge genres fluid, fluidly yep. and uh, make it easier for other people to uh, like, just be able to hear them and get little snippets of like metal, R&B, rock yeah. and just be like, okay, I like this, mm -hmm. maybe I can venture out into this other. Yeah, oh, who's no, this? absolutely. Yeah. And I really think they do it very well. Cool. Do y'all have a favorite album or song that y'all like go back to over and over again? Uh, It's hard to pick. I know those are hard questions. Uh, is there a song that y'all specifically like excited for for tonight? Oh yeah, Euclid. I think that's everybody's answer. Everyone is excited for that. Just the whole song out there. Yes. No, it's awesome. I think we're in for a special treat tonight. So I'm, I'm super excited. Well, it was nice meeting y'all again, and um, thank y'all so much. I appreciate it.
So it's the next day, the day after the ritual, and I had a phenomenal time. It was absolutely amazing. It was such a pleasure getting to go down through the line and talk to a ton of Sleep Token fans and a few Sleep Token fans as well uh, to pick their brain about why they like Sleep Token, how they got into them, all of that. Um, and it was really cool to see Project Atlantic out um, doing what they do and really supporting the community. And then being able to see that sea of pink um, you know, there was like this feeling that was in the audience that I can't explain, like three, four, five different people like passed out at the end of Missing Limbs, which was just absolutely wild. I don't know um, if it was just from like pure emotion. I don't know if it was from like heat exhaustion. I don't know what it was, but it so many were dropping at the end of that song. Um, you could really feel the energy in that room and you know I've seen the boys this is the third time I've seen them so I've seen them a couple different ways and uh, different periods of their career and this felt like almost like the pinnacle I was thinking about this on the way back to the hotel um, after the show and I was kind of thinking to myself how do they top what I just witnessed because I really honestly I don't know the answer to that um, what I witnessed felt like you know top tier performance. I just, it was so good that I'm almost like, how do you top that? How do you make anything better than what we just saw? Um, truly. And it was absolutely amazing. Um, the only negative that happened at the concert was, is prior to the concert, I had called and asked the venue if masks were able to be worn. So I brought my sleep talking mask, as you saw in the video. Um, I asked again before we walked inside, before we went to security, they were coming around scanning everyone's uh, tickets and giving them wristbands and I asked again there because my truck was right by the front door I said can we wear masks yes take them off during security as soon as I got inside the only negative is the HEB Center security were straight up assholes um, they were not responsive whatsoever when the people were like passing out fainting um, it took you know, a solid minute of people literally yelling in their faces for them to like move and act or do anything. So the security was not good. Uh, they were very rude. Um, I got yelled at immediately as soon as I got inside to take the mask off. I explained to them, you know, they said we could wear masks in here. I called, I asked before, before coming in prior, um, you know, this is an expensive mask. I'm not trying to hold this, this entire set. And, uh, they weren't having it. They said, no, it doesn't matter. So obviously the uh, security team and the management team and the box office team don't talk to each other. They tried saying that the boys didn't want anyone wearing masks. If that's true, that's kind of sad. I, I don't know if I really believe that just because, I mean, I've seen people dress up in cosplay at Sleep Token shows time and time again. So unless it's like a new management thing with their uh, new RCA team, I just don't see it, but whatever, um, you know, no mask. So I had to hold the mask all evening in my hand. So that was the only negative. Uh, plus some girls that were in front of me with some cowgirl hats on that were like lit up in my face. Um, I was like, why? But uh, nonetheless, um, it didn't, um, ruin the experience or the show for me. It was absolutely amazing. I brought my daughter with me. She cried multiple times throughout the set. The sweetest thing that, um, that kind of really happened and that kind of like sealed it for me was, um, at the end of Euclid, Vessel's crying and that's how the show ends. And, um, 
we were leaving my daughter was still crying in the car and I was like I was like what's wrong like did you not have a good time and she was like no I had an amazing time and I said well why are you crying and she said I didn't want to leave him there crying all by himself and that ripped my heart right out of my chest like it really was something and uh, so getting to experience um, my third ritual, my second with my daughter, it was a very um, emotional and uh, an amazing event. And I couldn't have asked for um, a better show. I had really great spot right at the front. Um, so I'm kind of glad that this worked out versus New York because New York, I was gonna be pretty far back from the stage. Um, and this way I got to see them up close and personal once again. And so just overall great time. If you're going to be uh, attending any of the rituals that are going on uh, on the rest of this Teeth of God tour or any of the other rituals that are going to be coming up um, with our overseas friends uh, with Bill Murray, um, I hope you have an amazing time. Just know that you are in for a treat, especially those of you that are on Teeth of God tour. Um, I, I have nothing else to say. It was absolutely amazing. Um, I had such a good time talking once again to all the Sleep Token fans and the Sleep Token fans that I got to speak with. Um, it was so cool. And uh, it, it was just an experience that I will never forget. So I thank you for supporting not only Sleep Token, but supporting the podcast. And uh, that's the end of it. I can't wait for the next ritual vlog because, you know, it'll be coming. I'm not the best at these vlogs, um, especially when I'm trying to play dad as well. Um, but, you know, uh, hopefully they get better as we go. And uh, thank you all so much again for watching and supporting. I love you very much. And uh, I'll speak to you again very soon. And don't forget, worship.